All right, oh. So, hey guys. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite tarantulas. We're talking about the Carabana Versicolor. Now I have uh, three of them so far, and uh, let's take a look at some, shall we? So this is a baby Carabana Versicolor. As you can see, they can jump quite well. As babies, they have this really beautiful blue sheen all over their body. A little tiger striped rump. Now, Carabena used to be in the Avicularia genus, the pink toe tarantula. And they do have quite a few similarities. One of my favorite things about Carabenas and Avicularias is that they do this little prance when they walk. It's really cute. This here is a juvenile I have. And as you can see on this little one, she's about in between there. She's about in between her baby colors and her adult phase. She's kind of starting to get a little bit more red. She's starting to lose some of the blue. And that's what these guys do. They'll change colors as they grow older. Now I'm about to get this one into its new cage and I'll show you an adult. Now these carabanas, or the pink toe tarantulas in general, they're pretty well known for living inside of tree hollows and bromeliad leaves and such. Now, I really don't recommend handling tarantulas, especially jumpy little ones like this. It can be very stressful for them. It can uh, be harmful to them even. But these guys are really giving me no choice. I can't really get them to stay in the cage. She is really giving me the runaround whether or not she's going to go into her new cage. Which I'd really love her to do. Oop. Oh. So the next one I have is a uh, almost fully grown Versicolor. She is ready to move into this big new house of hers. But she's not quite willing to give up her log. This is essentially what Carabenas, Avicularias do. They will make themselves a nice little funnel burrow inside their log. And they will uh, essentially make that their home, their hideaway. Their fortress. Now, let's see if, if we can't somehow get Missy out. Now, Missy was given to me by a good friend named Missy and didn't have a name at the time, but I already had a tarantula named Lola. And, well, my friend Missy married a Lola, and I figured wouldn't that be cute if I just had the pair of them. There she is. Now, isn't that gorgeous? That is the full grown coloration of a Carabena Versicolor. As you can see they lose that blue almost entirely, it's stuck just to their head and then they turn this pinkish rusty red color all over. These guys are from the island of Martinique in the Caribbean. They are super duper pretty. I don't know how many times I can say that. But these are probably one of my favorite tarantulas. Now with all avicularias and carabenas in captivity, you actually want to give them quite a bit of ventilation. A lot of people make the mistake of giving them too much humidity, and that just kind of dampens them out and gets them sick. And uh, that's ultimately how a lot of people end up killing their first avicularia or carabena sling. Um, luckily I've been giving these guys lots of ventilation. You actually spray them down a lot less than you'd think. And, um, they make amazing pets. Especially since these are out all the time, these guys are super duper great display animals. <laughs> Righto. Again, I really don't um, recommend handling your tarantulas, but she literally just jumped up onto my elbow and uh, did not give me a choice in the matter. So, here I am handling tarantulas and telling you not to. Because it can be harmful for them, it can be stressful and they can hurt themselves when they try to do something silly like jump onto people's elbows and go say hi to the Metallica, my other favorite tarantula okay I gotta put down the camera now uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> keep going Keep going. I see you.
<laughs> you see what I'm working with here. Let's give her some cork bark. And there you have it. A trio of beautiful tarantulas rehomed into bigger caging. I'll spray them down and feed them right away. And uh, hopefully they acclimate into here quite well. I have a feeling they will. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye now.